Yo, what's going on everyone? I thought I would make a very quick video here. As you can probably tell from the thumbnail, I have found the single best website to convert photos into line drawings. Now, these are a couple of examples that I've done here. And on the left, I've blanked them out at the moment. I don't want to spoil the surprise. I'm going to show you each one of these examples one by one. Uh, show you how good they've actually turned out. I haven't done anything to any of these at all. I've literally gone into Google, just typed in like high res photos of animals and pets, uploaded them to this website, and it's done everything for me. I haven't had to like remove the backgrounds, I haven't had to like sharpen the images or anything. It's literally just upload the photo, click and go. It is that easy. So, first of all, we'll have a look at this lizard. So, let's remove this first of all. And you can see that is pretty spot on. It's not exactly the same, but you can tell exactly what animal it is. And you can see it has come directly from that image. Um, let's have a look at this. It's just a photo of like an AI generated cat, I think. So we'll remove this one as well. Again, this one looks really good. Now you could probably do a couple of things with the eyes and maybe the ears there. You know, maybe remove some of that detail there. You know, it does look a little bit deranged, but in my opinion, that is still really good. Now, let's have a look at the, the baby orangutan. Now, you can see this one is absolutely spot on. The detail on that is so good. As you can see, it hasn't got too much noise in there as well. It's literally just like a nice thick outline of the animal, which you can use no problem with your laser engravers. Now, let's have a look at the tiger one. The tiger one is really good. Look at that, that is absolutely spot on. Again, you can see it is exactly the same as come from that photo there. It's taken the details from it and again, converted that into an amazing line drawing. Now let's have a look at these. The dog ones I have found have come out really good. I think it's just because the photos are just over the dog's faces directly on and they are quite high res photos. So let's have a look at this dog first of all. Now you can see that is absolutely perfect. The outlines and everything match that exactly. So if you were doing this job for somebody, they'd be able to see exactly. It is a picture of their dog and there wouldn't be any complaints with it whatsoever. But then this one is my favorite one. I've left it to last. This one, I've not only traced it, but I converted this into like uh, an image that you can cut out in your laser as well as like a key ring or some sort of ornament. So if we remove that, Again, look at that. It is absolutely spot on. That is so good. Taken from that image. Again, it's literally upload the photo and I just clicked one button and it is done. This red outline, I've just added it myself just to show you can also make like key rings and stuff like that as well. But yeah, these have turned out so good. I don't know if you've seen the other videos I've done where converting like photos into like line drawings and stuff like that. They've been good, but they've never been as good as this. Now, I'll show you the website in a moment. Um, just a couple of details. What works best with it? I found the higher res photos do obviously work best with it. It can take a little bit longer, but this website is almost instant. You just upload your photo and it can do it in a couple of seconds. So now we'll go to the website. We'll find a nice high res photo of we'll just do a dog. Um, to keep it nice and simple. So again, I'll just Google a high res photo of a dog. We'll upload it. And it doesn't just do line art as well. It does like, um, it does like vector illustrations. It can convert it to a 3D model. It can do caricatures. There's lots of different things it can do. So it's called portraitart.app. I will put a link down in the description if you want to check it out. Now, like I said, when I first used it, I had lots of like free goes of it, but it does run out. I think you had like 10 or 20. But you'll see here in the top corner, I've got 106. That's because I've gone in and I've actually purchased, I think it was like $15 for 150, I think it was. There's lots of different plans you can choose, but this was the cheapest one, just so I can make a video and show you. And I don't think I'll ever get around to using 106 of these. So if anybody wants me to do any photos of them, pop a comment on it, I'll get in touch and we'll try and use all these credits up. I don't think I'm ever going to use all of these anytime soon. So this is the most recent one I've done. So we can see in Inkscape here, it is the last one I've done there. And literally uploaded the photo and it converted to that. And then I done an illustration. So there's lots of options down here. You can run all art styles, or you can do lots of different ones. Um, so on this one, I've done the coloring page, bold sketch for that. 
Uh, you can go thin lines as well. You can do line sketch, line art. There's lots of different things you can do with it. So let's search high res dog videos and let's look for one with lots of detail and one that's quite high res. What about this dog over here? So I can see the resolution on there isn't the highest. Um, oh, this one's a lot better. So let's save this photo. So now we've got the photo saved. Let's go back to portraitart.app. And if you scroll down, you'll see here. But when you first come onto the website, you won't have any photos there. It'll just say drop another photo here or load a photo. So that'll be on the front here. I can't go back to that. But because I've uploaded some stuff, it's right at the bottom. We'll upload the photo we just got off Google. So that's now uploaded. And I can choose one of these options. And you'll see now it literally takes a few seconds to convert it. So I'm going to go color and page bold sketch. There we go. Just like that. That took, what, five, ten seconds. And I've got this image. That is a really good and decent image of that. If you're not happy with it, you can resample it. So let's say, for example, you know, I'm not happy. I wanted a different version. Let's resample. It'll just do exactly the same thing again. It'll take a credit off you, but then it'll just resample it and try and give you another similar image. But that one, to me, looks pretty good. Considering it's is quite a furry dog, it's got a lot of the details there and the outline is spot on. So that's going to resample again the colour and page bold sketchy style. Mm, okay, I'd say this one is a bit better, a bit closer to the actual image. So that's really good. So I can click on this. I think if you're using this with the free credits as well, you will get a watermark on this. But because I've purchased credits, I get like a full 4K image of it. So I'm going to right click this, I'm going to copy it, I'm going to go over to Inkscape. Let's zoom right out because it is a 4K image. And let's just paste it there. So I've just right click copy and in Inkscape I've just pressed Control and B and I've just pasted that. So I've got this writing down here obviously we don't want. So now I'm just going to, in Inkscape, I'm just going to trace the image, automatically trace it, press apply, don't need to change any settings there. And I will delete this. You won't usually obviously get the watermark in there if you're using your own photos. But it's literally that simple. This is now a vector image. I can scale this up or down however I want. And I can just export that then to my laser engraver and run that as an engraving on slate or wood or something like that. So we've got the color and page bold sketchy, but you've also got color and page thin and detailed. So we'll load the thin and detailed one up here and see what type of style we get. I think we'll just get obviously a lot more detail within like the fur and stuff with it. So we'll wait for that to run through. Not the best results with that. I don't use the thin detailed one. I just use the bold sketchy one. But you can see here, this is using AI to create these images because that has automatically thought it's a dog and it's got the shape of it, but it looks like a Labrador. Instead of a Labradoodle, it's like a Labrador's face, which is just randomly brought out of thin air. So yeah, you can resample that again, or I would stick to the, uh, the bold and sketchy. But again, your illustrations, this will create like a colorful, cute drawing of the dog. So that from illustration there has created an exact likeness of that dog. That is really good. Um, I'm going to try oil painting. I haven't tried this one yet. So we'll see how close this gets to that. So let's wait for that to load. I don't know how long this one takes. But like I said, even when you're using this with the free credits, it doesn't take any longer. Oh, that is really good. I like that. But yeah, when you're using it with the free credits, like I said, it doesn't take any longer. It literally takes exactly the same. Don't know who made this website or anything like that, but it's absolutely amazing. If you definitely want to use this for like stuff like laser engraving and stuff like that, definitely purchase the credits. It's like $15 for 150 which is dirt cheap, and those credits do go a long way. Um, let's try something else as well. Let's do a let's do line art, see how that looks as well. Now, that is really good because that's a spot on copy of the image, but it is a bit funky. But again, we can take that into Inkscape. Paste the 4K image in. And again, you can trace that and it'll just be black lines. So that's quite a good alternative if somebody wanted something a little bit different. But again, this one really it's it's just so good. It is spot on. I would always go with the with the bold cartoon book style. This is hands down the best app or website I have found 
to convert photos into line art for laser engraving and stuff like that to have vector images without having to do like lots of editing on top is absolutely amazing and i have to share this with you guys because i know a lot of people enjoyed like the last couple of videos i've done we're doing it and it was a little bit more work with it but this one like as you can see you literally upload the photo and just one click and it is done anyway guys i do hope you enjoyed the video if you have definitely give it a thumbs up if you're not already subscribed it really does help the channel out a ton and as i said if you want me to do any photos for you if you've tried it and you're happy with it but you haven't got any credits left pop a comment down in the comment section and uh yeah i'll see if i can get back to you if i don't get inundated with like hundreds and hundreds i'll see if i can do a couple of samples for you like as you can see i've still got a hundred of them to use so uh yeah it'll take a while to use them all anyway guys hope you have fun with it we'll see you in the next one so